Um, so how how can I save time with cleaning? Like, um, it's only me right now, so I'm trying to figure out how to clean faster. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. So cleaning faster. Oh, let me just say this. What what exactly are you cleaning? Because there's different types of uh cleans you can do. Uh, construction cleaning, deep cleaning, general cleaning. Like, what is your niche? Um, right now it's more deep cleaning, like move out cleans. And I have this one particular house. She got two dogs, and she's kind of like a hoarder, so she got like stuff everywhere, and it's like really time consuming for me to move her stuff around, work around all the the clutter. Right. I always tell people this, like cleaning the right way is time consuming regardless. You know, when you say the quickest way, you know, if you move too fast, you're going to miss something. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Like you, you have to learn how to clean thoroughly. It's certain solutions you can use to uh, maybe speed up the process. I don't know what type of solutions you're using. Um, okay. Um, I don't know what type of what type of solution do you use? I use um I try to go the softer approach. So I use a lot of Dawn or Castile soap. Um mm. that's the main thing. I like Dawn power wash. I make it myself, so I do like the Dawn and alcohol. Oh, I I try to clear, clear Are you up. using um if you're using Dawn, Dawn is good. You know, you know Dawn gets really, really soapy. So yeah. it's gonna take you a while to like rinse. You're gonna be doing a lot right. of rinsing, you know, with, with all the bubbles and stuff. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. So yeah. That's just the one thing with the with the Don. It how it works good, but it's gonna be time consuming because you're gonna have a bubbly, I don't know how much you use it in there. You know, uh, what I, mean? no, I don't use too much. I just um just enough to get a good scrub down. Right. And what type of vacuum do you have? Um, not a great one at the moment. Um, it's like the Bissell, uh, what is it? It's, it's like from Walmart. It's one of the cheaper ones at Walmart. Okay. So you want to, you want, you want to eventually invest in a good vacuum cleaner. Okay. What kind of vacuum do you guys use? I would say a shark vacuum. Shark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And I, I like the shark vacuums that have a cord. I'm not really a fan of the ones that uh that that are cordless because right. the power goes out in it and then you gotta charge it back up. And I never I never like that whole weight and charge up thing. So um I use the shark vacuum that has a cord and I can put a stencher cord to it or something like that if I need to get to larger areas. But I like the shark vacuum because you can vacuum the kitchen as well as the rug. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it has the holes where you can untach the holes and you can get in the cracks and the crevices. Yeah, definitely. So I'm definitely going to have to. Invest spend some money on some decent supplies that'll make it make uh, speed up your process a little bit more right okay like a better vacuum cleaner um a better duster i don't know what kind of rags you're using sometimes you guys be using those uh white rags that that leaves all of that lint behind oh yeah i try you to stay away saying? from those as much yeah. as possible that could slow you down if you're using the wrong rags get you some microfiber rags okay or right. you can use the blue rags um what do we what, what do you call oh, those rags um, uh, we get them out of the yeah. automobile section the throwaway rags they're really really thick the thick blue oh, okay yeah that's what you're talking about them. yeah the ones that they use to to wash the cars and dry the windows like those work really good with cleaning with them and then you could okay. just clean, especially cleaning like a yeah. move out or something like yeah. that. You can use those. This is microfiber. These these always work good. Okay. Good old microfiber rags. And then the, um, like I said, the blue ones that that you can just throw away. You can wipe something disgusting off and just throw it away. Right. You know, 
So that speeds up the process as well. Definitely. Yes. Hard water buildup. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and um, for hard water buildup, make sure you're using something like a uh, silver scrubby. Mm. This works silver good. Silver scrubby. Okay. <laughs> A pumice stone, barkeeper's friend in the squeeze bottle, a uh, llama weight in the squeeze bottle. Those will help you out for the deep cleans. Okay. Okay. So it really just depends on the stuff that you're using. But uh, I mean, don't don't think that you're going to get through with this big old house in two hours and stuff like sometimes it is just going to take some time for you to clean it properly some of my best cleaners they that work fast it still would take them uh four hours to complete a three bedroom two bathroom depending on the condition it's just right. yeah. yeah i'm i'm very detail oriented so like i i clean people's house like i clean my house so mm -hmm. I see where I take a long time, but using using some of your suggestions, I feel like I could speed up time. Where where when she go to clean? Where does she start at? Does she do the bathrooms and the kitchen? Like where does she start at? Where yeah, that's a good question. Where do you start at when you start cleaning? I always start in the dirtiest room, mostly like um, the master bathroom, somewhere that's been used a lot. And then I move like to the kitchen and then I do the least okay. dirty spaces last, like the living room, dining room. Right. So when you first come in, usually when I first come in a, a house and it's really, if this apartment is really dirty, I start spraying my solution. So I'm okay. going to spray my, spray my stove down immediately and let it sit. And then I'm going to spray down the bathrooms and all that mold and stuff, let it sit. You know, okay. so the chemical, give it the chemical time to do what it needs to do while you're working on windows or working on something else in the house. Then you slowly start coming to back to those areas and taking care of those. Right. Okay. Just a suggestion. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Johnson. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I do apologize for interrupting. Okay, that was just in case I <laughs> caught her on the last. Go ahead. Hold on. Who is that? Miss Lady Mac. Oh, that's Lady Mac. I mean, you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Go okay. Ahead. How do you feel about using vinegar and water instead of bleach in like the bathroom? Like, cause I've I've heard that vinegar and water is better. And mm -hmm. that bleach. Now, I, now, trust me, I've used bleach in my bathroom before for like a little bit of mold and it just disappeared. But some people were saying that it wasn't really going anywhere because it come, it'll come, it come back quick. Now, I never had that problem. They said that the, then, bleach, the, the mold will come back quick? Right. But see, I, I'm, I'm a little self diagnosed OCD so I ain't never had a problem I stayed no, on top I, of my I bathroom. never heard of that <laughs> and I, I really kind of think that the whole uh, vinegar is good you know but to me I'm just from the old school from where I come from bleach is what's going to kill them germs right. you know right. I, right. I know right. that you know inhaling the fumes is toxic I, I get it um but in certain situations, I walk into a bathroom, it's moldy, the toilet's black, the tub is black. Y'all know, y'all done seen the nasty Ooh. stuff before. Yes. I'm going Ooh. to go get some bleach. That's just me. <laughs> okay? And I, I, old, I love old, all old my green clean, cleaning companies out there, you know. Right, I don't. Right, right. I just don't know how they getting it clean and making it smell good and really, you know, with, the, with just the water and the vinegar. I don't know. What about the I don't um, specialize in that. The um what is it called? I, I don't want to say grout, but like the because if that gets moldy, which if it's left unchecked, it will. How do you how do you So you said the mold in the grout? So cause some of that grout just they just need to caulk it. Right. So caulk you know, it. That's, that's the word I was the, looking for. In the tub. So you they know, need they, to recalk it if it gets that bad. Yeah, if it gets okay. bad, you so need it's to nothing. Them they need to they need to take it out. They need to recalk okay. it and put some more white stuff 
down. Because that's nothing down. we could really do anything about. The only thing we can right, do is right, spray right. it with bleach and, you know, but in certain situations, bleach not even going to help. They need to cock it. Right, right, right. Because that mold yeah. got down in that car. Well, see, that, so. don't, that don't fall on us. That falls on maintenance. Right. That's right, why right, you right. as a cleaning company, you should know the difference when it needs to be caulked because you will, you will mess around and have an amateur inspector like we did try to tell <laughs> yes, you. you did. <laughs> that the toilet is clean with a big old ring in it. What? <laughs> try to give you advice and shit like, you know, well, you know, it's not clean right not realizing that we cannot clean this, ma'am. Like that right there, right. that can't be clean. That, you guys need to tell the maintenance people to cock it. Right, you right. Know? So what did y'all do about, because that one dorm y'all went into had roaches in it. How do y'all battle stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. And that was one of the, one of the dorms that um, was allegedly <laughs> inspected already. As soon as I walked in, a freaking roach on the floor. Like, we got it on tape. You know, and what we ended up doing with that one was, I think, that, was that the one we recleaned? Yeah, Did we recleaned that one. In the roach crawl right across the floor. Yeah, we we <laughs> ended up. I felt yeah. so bad for y'all when I see. That. <laughs> I said, oh my! You see God. the inspector lady right there. Like I'm like, you just you just inspected this unit, man. Like she was she was passing their units for the. I think they was out there for three days. So they cleaned one day, they cleaned the second day, and she was inspecting on the first day and the second day. We came on the third day right? and saw that everything that she looked at was a mess, a hot mess. Everything she she, she signed off on. So and that's been all on the whole ring in the toilet and you signed off on it. Girl, I was right there with you. Yeah. I was so ready we, to cuss. I'm with Tamika. We, bang, we, we ganging did. up. We had to call the cleaning <laughs> company and tell them to come back. You know, right, and right, I right, said right. the owners didn't want to come back. You I, know, they, they wanted they it, what it would was. rather argue with me with over you. the phone. Right, you know, right. You know, no, no, no. Uh -huh. No, we just said come back and look. They didn't want to be woman and man enough to come back, so they sent their workers back. Like they sent two guys to come back. It was about ten people out there cleaning units. Wow. They sent two people back. Right, right. Right. And the two young men that came back, I respected them for coming back and um, doing it the right way. Because they said right. that they, they weren't told what to do. You know, they weren't, they they never gave them a checklist. So you see how how the ladder falls, how the dominoes fall? Right, right. You hire a bad company <clears throat> and that company didn't vet their people. <laughs> you know, Ooh. so they didn't give them a, a checklist and properly train them on what to do either. Right, so, right. Anyway, we ended up having to train their worker on how to mm. do it. And then their worker said that they wanted to stop working with them and work with us. And y'all will yeah. see on the show, child. It's just crazy. Ooh, ooh, I was <laughs> right there, witch. I was ready to get. Come on, come on, Mr. Mika. Let's lace up because they playing. <laughs> my god. Oh my god, man. Man, it's crazy. That's what you that's what you get into, man. That's why I say vet your cleaning companies. y'all please learn from the mistakes. Somebody said that's true. Vinegar do clean. Yes, fantastic. And bleach will kill just about anything. Yep. I like that. Fantastic. Joining live. Since a few weeks. Yeah. Hey, stop right there. If you're a cleaning business owner and you're looking for a community to join of like minded entrepreneurs just like you, that think just like you, and everybody is on the same wave, make sure you tap into our new community. It's called the Cleaners Club. Tap into our community. I go live in the community every week, okay? Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. Wednesdays at 8 o'clock Eastern. I go live and you can ask me anything you want for a live Q&A, okay? Not only that, but I also implemented our courses inside of our community, okay? For $55 a month, you got our courses. I put our forms in there and you get to talk to me and, and you get to join our challenges, okay? So we do challenges every week. You can win prizes, you can win leads. You just have to do the challenge, all right? So make sure that you guys are tapping in. Click the link in bio, click the link in description and I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.